lost track of the forest to the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. Hey, welcome back aboard. You can see I've made some progress on the boat. The cleaning definitely continues, and I've started the interior painting. What I'm using is Rust-Oleum's marine coatings. I'm starting with the primer, and then I'll go back with an oyster white topside paint. I'll use this uh, throughout the interior, and I'll think about using it on deck also. I would like it all to match. Beautiful day. I'll be up here for a few hours. I'm going to continue to clean the boat and primer, but it's so relaxing to be up here. Doing any project on the boat is just pure pleasure. It's fun to just get the project going, turn on some music, or maybe watch a video. This is relaxation to me. I have to be productive. Relaxing to me is not sitting around I have to be progressing and moving forward with my goals. And this boat right now is my major goal. I want to get it standing tall. The boat's going to be hauled out in about two weeks. The mast is uh, coming down to be rewired, so I have to take off the mainsail cover and the mainsail and anything else that is in the way they're going to come by and drop the mass and uh, take it over the boat yard and start wiring up i'm going to get a vhf antenna on the top what else i need a wind indicator up there i'm looking for a deck light a four deck light i'm going to get an anchor mic probably a tricolor I want them to go over the uh, standing rating and make make sure it's bulletproof and beefed up. Because this little boat's gonna see some heavy air. Um, I've always sailed in heavy winds. I like leaving the marina when everybody comes back. I think uh, with the uh, six horsepower Yamaha that I plan on buying, I think it'll be enough to push this boat um, out to the bay through the Kima Boardwalk entrance. The waves come at you pretty big sometimes. And uh, I had my J24, it had a four horsepower uh, Johnson, and I had to turn back several times when I went out in that by myself. Uh, the motor just didn't have enough power to go through the big waves. But uh, I think the six will do it. And my old four, that was an old motor. I think the six will have a, like a real six. I'm not sure if that four was pushing four horsepower out the prop or not. It's old, old motor. Thanks for coming back aboard. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart is a sun. And it shines as it opens. Where well, your heart is the sun, and it shines as it opens. My plan is to totally rebuild this. I don't need a sink here. I'd rather just stand right here, and I have a gravity-fed container with a valve that I just uh, wash my hands out there and let the water drain to the cockpit drain. I don't need all the plumbing and all of that stuff. Uh, way too complicated for this small of a boat just doesn't make much sense to me for my purposes so for now i'm going to seal up this area and paint it but i know in the future i'm going to pull all of this out and build kind of a treasure chest looking box that houses my batteries down here uh, the cooler and then up top a control panel back there vhf radio all the switches all that stuff protected uh, from the elements but I can also reach down below and grab what I need as far as the uh, handheld mic or maybe a handheld GPS or whatever I have to use. I just want to have all my all my uh, electronics tucked up under there. I think it's a very safe, dry place. 
So that's the plan. Okay, so I'm going to start sealing up under the companionway deck, and uh, I thought I would use this West Marine silicone sealant. See if it doesn't do the trick. Most places on boats are not going to be comfortable to work on, but the uh, best thing is to just try to get comfortable and enjoy the job. Yeah, this can be a nice little home for my uh, battery bank, I think. As low as I can go, in the middle of the ship, and a little bit towards the back. This is where they'd put the engine, so I think it's a good place for the weight. While the paint dries, I think I will install my new bilge pump. Here's today's progress. We got the bilge pump operational. We got all that painted and sealed. All right, I've got the bilge pump all wired up and tested. I need to put another through hole through the transom for the for the uh, outlet for the bilge pump. So tomorrow I will go buy a through hole fitting and I will punch through the hole and uh, that job will be complete. But for tonight, I'm gonna take out the stern light in the transom, which needs to come out and be replaced anyway. And then I'll use that hole just to run the pipe temporarily out so the boat's protected uh, with the bilge pump just for tonight until I get back tomorrow. So we're making making definitely uh, progress. Well, it's about time I got to take off, but I did everything I wanted to do today. 
I got everything masked off. I did some painting. I got a uh, operational bilge pump now. And I got the mast ready to come down. I had to take down the bimini, get it in my truck, and take the uh, main uh, sail off and the boom. All right. The V berth is primed and ready for paint. V berth is painted. Serendipities played a cruel trick on me Taking you so far that I can barely breathe The times I'd write for us here, my dear It's time you go on your way Don't you fear, just take hope It'll be our anchor in the storm of our lives I'll save you like a ship when you're out and lonely, drifting out to sea. Till 